pretty impressive. It's so ugly. You know, when I was a kid, I would have loved to have lived in a place like this. What's in there? That's the cellar. It's filthy. I like to think of it as character. An evil house film that is occasionally Lovecraft adjacent, Seller's story has good bones but little meat. Mom, Dad, get me out! Hang on, Ellie! Dad, come on! Mom, get me out! And I was more than once reminded of Mitchell Webb's Lazy Writers. Add to that constant attempts at suspense that fall short because there aren't any stakes. The overbearing score, always letting you know to be really scared now okay, doesn't help. One, two. You're doing great, Ellie. The first two thirds of the film felt like padding, like B-roll repurposed into something usable after the budget ran out. I found this movie quite entertaining. Ellie! There is not a lot left in this type of movie that hasn't been done or hasn't been seen before. Especially the old, big and lonely houses that harbor some dark secret. That's why I probably gave it a better rating, 8. There's symbols above all the doors. An ancient evil. So, although the whole thing was rather generic. Epsilon. There's something in there. It looks like Ellie. It's here. I found especially the first half of the movie quite entertaining, the ending though rather confusing, but when we finally get there, it's actually a pretty good ending. And the acting is adequate, and the production values are good. They just should have left half of this on the cutting room floor, okay for a movie you watch with friends, fully intending to talk over half of it, enjoy the show, take care. Steven. Mom. Steven.